Let's take a look under the media category and see what we've got. We've got library and add new. So we'll click uh, we'll click library here. And we don't have anything uploaded to this site, unfortunately. But um, if we did, they'd all be listed here. A bunch of pictures and video. And we'd be able to see all of our media content. And if you want to upload something new, let's say we've got a picture. Just hit add new. Select your file. And then find it on the desktop. So we'll use... Uh, We'll use this cool swoopy color thing and we'll just upload it. And uh, here it comes. Crunching. And here it is. We've got like a thumbnail, the title. We'll call it a swoop image. And um, just hit save changes. And now if we take a look in our um, media library, we can see now we got something. There's our swoop image. So everything that you add, it would be all here easy for you to find in the media section. So let's talk about the links area. Um, this may not be a feature that you need, um, but a lot of people who are hardcore bloggers, they have a lot of links to other people on their site. So here's a link to WordPress, uh, you know, some other features and things that'll show up on your site. And we can take a look and see where those would be. So in this blog roll, this is called a blog roll. That's like blogs that other people, other links for other blogs. If we had that feature set up, they'd be over here. But it uh, looks like they're not, we don't have that feature set up. But if you wanted to, you could have a big list of these uh, appearing. And that's how you would add and manage your links. So this is all in the links category. Pages is where you'll probably spend a lot of your time. So uh, let's go ahead and hit pages edit. And uh, all we have right now is about. So if you look up here, this is like your menu. If you click on about, you know, it's actually, actually the same content, but it, that's where um, all your pages would be. Contact us, photos, you know, criticism, discussion, etc., etc. So let's say you want to add a new page. Just click add new over here. And let's call this page um, contact us. And then in here we'll say, hey, get in touch with us. And then uh, email at our email.com and maybe a phone number. We'll put it all in there in this area. And um, then when we hit publish, we'll go to our uh, page here. We'll reload it. And then we should have a new page called Contact Us. Here it is. And uh, there's our information. So that's how you'll add pages. <clears throat> and um, in another video, we'll cover how to do all the formatting but for now that's how you do it and if you go back to edit let's say you want to add more content or change something just go to the edit go down here to um, the page you want to change and a little window appear and you say edit then your page pops up you make your changes and just make sure you hit update or publish or else it's not going to go out there so make sure you're doing that and that's how you add um, the page content we're going to click comments right now and skip, skip down to uh, appearance now themes are the way WordPress makes your site look pretty. Um, you can go from one theme to another and all your content will still be there. It just changes the uh, the framework and how things are laid out. So right now this is what our blog looks like. But let's say we like we like this theme here. If you click activate and then oh, it's already in there. So we clicked activate and it's now going to change our entire site. We'll reload it and now it's going to look like this. Our page is still there. Contact us. Here's our login info. And um, that's our same site. We didn't change anything, but by using WordPress themes, we can um, customize the look and feel of it really quickly. We can go all these different ones. So we're not going to do that um, right now. We're going to go back to our other uh, theme, this one right here. So now if we go back and reload it, boom, there's our theme back again. Um, but let's talk about widgets. Widgets are these little things on the side here. See like a search window, a topics window, a login window. Um, what we want to do is go over here and this gives us a lot of available widgets. These are all already built in. We don't have to go find them. And if you see something you like, like a search um, area or a tag cloud which is just a list of your um, topics 
and like we talked about your blog roll your links of other people if you click it and just drag it over here a little dotted line will appear let it go and then it gives you some options like um, to show the link descriptions and stuff like that we'll just hit save and then if we go back here to our site and reload we're gonna have a new thing on the side called blog roll and uh, these are all the links that we've already incorporated we can go back and we can get get rid of it still keep the settings we'll just drag it over here and uh, it's that easy we get rid of that stuff or drag it back change the order around like this uh, and then you can go back and see just hit reload all that stuff's still there so once you get into plugins and adding more widgets you can have a twitter feed you can have your logo you can have all sorts of stuff over here and some themes have multiple sidebars they have one on the left and one on the right one on the bottom one at the top and then you'll see them all over the place but that's how you manage them is by dragging them in and out like that dragging it back so that's all you need to know about widgets they're pretty uh pretty easy to use and most of them are already the functionality is already pre-established you just have to drag them over um, so that's what's going on in the appearance and theme sections let's talk about plugins this is really where the expandability of WordPress comes into play Now we only we don't have any plugins going on right now um, but if you did you'd have a bunch of them right here And if you want to add new like let's say we want to add a Twitter feed um, we do a search for a Twitter plugin and it would bring up a bunch of bunch of options and then it's up to you to sort of analyze from the rating and the description if this is going to be a good one for you so we're going to go ahead and use this one right here Twitter widget we'll click install it's going to give us a option and we're going to install it just hit that big red button there then if we go back to our plugins page we'll activate it and now we'll be able to see in that big list of uh, plugins it should be showing up right there so here it is Twitter widget and uh, now it's in there so we need to edit and give it some options and configure it for our Twitter account so we'll click edit actually this is the code stuff so that's not where we're gonna change it chances are that Twitter thing is over here somewhere in the widget section so if we click widgets now we've got one that says Twitter see it right here so we'll drag that over and then what's the account well we'll use our company account the Munich group and we'll give the Twitter title we'll say Twitter updates and how many posts we'll say we'll say seven so we click save and then we'll go over here to see uh, see how it looks and see if the plugin is working correctly once this is done loading okay and waiting for the Twitter widget there it is here's our Twitter updates so it just appears on the right here and uh, you can see these are all our latest uh, tweets so that's how plugins work you uh, add the plugin give it some specifics and then either manage it through your widgets area or over here through your plugin area so that's what plugins are let's take a look at users this is going to show us all the list of people with access to our site and depending on your project you may have a bunch of people or just you but um, you know it's just us right now so here we are our roles an administrator and uh, you can take a look there's all different sort of permissions administrator editor author contributor subscriber these just let peop your users change different aspects of the site from nothing to everything and it's up to you to give them the right permissions and then lastly tools we're not going to cover settings this is a bunch of stuff about the settings of your site like the name of your blog the contact information uh, how you want the date displayed things like that so it's not the most exciting but um, it's something that you'll need to make sure you have filled out filled out right so in our next uh, tutorial we'll cover the actual how-to of the uh, of the posts and how to update and change and add pictures and video but for now this gives you some background about the uh, how the menus laid out and uh, sort of the feel and look and feel of, uh, of information within your WordPress dashboard. So check out the next video and uh, we'll keep going.